start. And good God, the odds are blown against them. Vitality, of course, on the ropes and a hot favorite for Legend State. On paper, understandably so. The Dusk has outlined this here. Vitality should be able to bully Greyhound around the server. But this team have already upset Cloud9. Let's see if they can do it again. Got Rushley and MC on the ones to zeros. Dream team on the buttons. Let's see what Sicko, Inns, and Lianz can do. Now, will there be a first move? Vexite just investigating and flashing up on short side. That will end up facilitate the leap. Boots on the ground now. Zywu distracted. Good strike out of Vexite. B250. Info. Two, he screams brackets. Sphinx, one to be cleared out. Gets nothing done. Dupree, though, still lingers and regroups. Kit present, bomb to be planted, an advantage for this Greyhound pistol start. They can't afford to be falling to this boost. You can see established now. Magis will have a timer on this now. Dismantle, Sicko in pit, and three for the retake. Key here is Magis with the smoke and the kit here, but time already starting to tick. And I think they've called it off. Okay. Uh, retake in towards that A site or the B bomb site, number disadvantage. Never going to be easy, and Vitality not wanting to get stuck in early, uh, allowing Greyhound to keep four players alive. This should be... Very, very easy pickings for the pistol. We can call this one done. Not what I was expecting by any means. I thought, you know, once you get to a stage environment, there's a bit more pressure in elimination game. You take a few more risks, just like Alistair chasing them away here, making sure they definitely are saving. He's spotted out at least two now. That'll be the death of him. A goose from Inns, and he falls as well. So actually giving over some reality so far here in the Challenger stage. And I'm not a swing and a miss just yet, but a scope all the way down, and nobody overstepping the mark just yet for Greyhound. Inns. Patience being the virtue, takes his time, peers on forward, and they're establishing this map control as that nade doesn't do an awful lot. Now Mahone mentioned pressuring this B bomb site, Spinks in his previous team ends, in case you're the you uninitiated. Know, this was not a map that they played. So always discussed as a bit of a pressure point, and if he gets off to a slower start, something that Zaiwu might be called over to help plug. Very tiny gap there that Zaiwu has scoped on through. Now, Mid control, not Ghana just yet. This Famous on the top rope. Dupree has been spotted. We'll need to drop on down. And they have a passive crossfire. Now, it's worked for them plenty of times before Vitality, this passive crossfire on the site. I don't have the full guns to do so. Top banana smoked off, rotation for Zywu coming over. Vexite charging through, looking for the info. That's a bit of a money man play. And they need to head straight now in towards A. Sicko onto Dupree, it's just Magisk. Yeah, Magisk, and the cavalry coming fast through spawn. Inns looking to investigate Zywu, ready and prepared for it. That's a hard shot to hit. Just a slither one, Inns now down. Magisk still has the sight, they're running out of time and options, especially when you hit shots like that. Magisk, a big one into Liaz, and Greyhound just crumble. It's only Alistair alone. Three to find a 1v4 in front of him and a horribly intimidating smoke. He wants to go and investigate, doesn't it find is. it. Yeah, he's got the gap closing behind him as well. Apex Sphinx are partnered up. Conceding. Alistair opting for the Deagle and taking the fight. That was an oddball move. Not interested in trying to get that bomb down, have them run him down. And so Vitality, yes, yeah, straight back. It's a bad one to, to lose right there. And the word I used was disjointed. Look at all these kills. They're individual. Now, they sent Vexite into B for information, but weren't able to strike together as a pack here. And you can see it was conceded by Alistair. As soon as he throws the Galil away on Vitality fan, this is exactly what you're looking for. Which they haven't necessarily been getting an awful lot of as a Vitality fan as of late. Yeah, we can recap some of those losses. Hasn't been looking fantastic. They lost to Gamer Legion on Vertigo and Outsiders on Overpass. Their only win came against Imperial, who have already been eliminated from the event. Yeah, full banana control here. Bomb all the way back towards T-Stairs. So you can see there's no clear intent from Greyhound just yet. They're hoping somebody gets a little bit over picky. And these Deagles might be able to strike. Made towards top mid, well placed. Whoa. Big chunk of damage. Vexai trying his luck and toying with Dupree. Undaunted and unscathed. Gets himself away. Just peppering onto the apartment's presence. Slowly conceding control when he sees fit. Good placement of the nade. Might be able to get an angle over the top. The nade finishes the job Zywu started. Running out of options now for Greyhound, trying to break through this defense. Yeah, I'll tell you this much. If it was Apex and Sphinx in opposite positions, I'm sure Apex would have pushed all the way down to T-Stairs by now. So yeah. this one here, it's hard to see them hit bangers entering the side. Another round that feels like it's going to fall apart and without too much traction or damage. Yeah, Majeski really kind of made a name for himself in this position. Years have passed, still a demon on it. And two from that pit hold. 
Vitality will find their second round. Greyhound's force falls flat. And here's the thing, that, that round from Vitality, I know it's more of an anti-eco, a traditional style round playing somewhat passive across the map. That banana control, a little bit of a different flavor. But they can just play that type of Counter-Strike and they should win. They have all the experience, they have Zaiwu, uh, and then the pedigree of the players across the board is levels above what Greyhound... Not going to be easy, it might be a blowout over two maps here, if we're going to be honest. So would you frame a win condition for Greyhound is that Zaiwu doesn't get company uh, over the course of this best of three? Yeah, I, look, he, if the support isn't there and everybody else is still quite flat, this is just going to be a mop up here, sure, a couple casualties. But still, the mop and bucket out to play. Flicker gets two kills, right? This is an individual that we're expecting to see towards the top of the scoreboard. The New Zealand representation here in the server for Greyhound stepping up in a big way. And a, a tidy round, not a chaotic one, not one where it's screamy. We're running up banana and it's 50 50 jewels. Finds that they win out and, and handle neatly. That setup you were talking about in apps as well, I mean, that is a hard one to crack, no? Orp on the tight line, rifle wide. How often do you see Zai would miss? Yeah, too, I mean, touche. And that round could have been completely different. Have a slight Cheeky. flither in order to catch a very common spot to line up your smokes, your nades. Towards Banana, though, the first battle ensues. You can see, cock the flash for Apex's call when he feels hot water or hot lead out of the nades. Leaves him on 10 HP. You might want to get out of there now. Yeah, that utility should facilitate a retreat. Vexite might have him locked in here. Sphinx might have to bail him out. There's the opener. A big one from Vexite. Greyhound again with an opening frag. Good understanding of the situation. Info play back to pre calls mid clear. The over rotation available right now, but the bomb still on the deck. Plenty of time for this as Liaz and Sicko investigate Boiler and Halls. The other three poised towards the top of Banana. So choices plentiful for Greyhound right now. This time, Spinks has opted to play in the site. So if they do finish B, he will be standing and fighting. And I love this util up A. It will keep those feet planted. And it puts so much now riding onto Spinks. If he can. Find one for free, get away, reposition, keep that B site under vitality rule. You might channel them into the stack. Bomb yet to be committed. It will have to start maneuvering now, about 40 seconds as it's picked up onto the back of Inns. Dupree on his own move, and Lee has looking the wrong way. Trade is there. Advantage held, time sensitive. So I was going to flash here, might activate Spinx. They're going to hit this shot, and he can't. They have to go B now. Yeah, and that flash has been put through. Sphinx aggresses through the smoke, kept level. They know Zywoo's here. Orp, not the perfect weapon for the job. He knows time on his side. The run boost across. Alistair does manage to beat the cross from Magis, but that's a, just a little bit of a slip up. You don't have the time for this. He'll get run down. Surely Zywoo will stop this before it gets out of hand. One to the bottom. Protocols established. They actually want to contest that early deep banana smoke and Cost oh, them a great oh, oh. deal. Yeah, well, that's what happens. You're in the hurt locker. Smoke behind you, Molly in front of you, and nades right on top of you. Inns a seventh death. And Spinx is catching these timings. That's lovely from him. Just strafes out into the action, post his second frag. And Vitality given this one on a silver platter now. Risk had to be taken there, but as they regroup, through the chicken pit, Alistair's still poised mid with the AWP. They'd have to hope to get given a kill, and Vitality aren't the team who needs to overstep the mark on their CT defense on Inferno. So back towards B with a likely execute here. Smoke's available. CT and Coffins. There's even a Molotov for the triple box and flashes to boot. You can see this is so established from Vitality. Apex and Sphinx, they know what, what is needed of them. A slither gap, he calls for it. Yep, hits his crouch key. Sphinx to drop the util, and they will just push through, surging into the site. Alistair posts up. Sphinx, he's already on for a third and gets it done. Apex now just for the cherry on top, but loses his head. And now the round's up for debate. Sicko and Liaz partner up. Bomb is down. Dupree considering a walk through the smoke. Zywoo to facilitate. Flash pops. Liaz needed that one. Trade is there. Sicko can, but will he find the 1v2? So much time. They'll partner up. Turns the nades. Takes the fight. Can't continue to get plants that be the name of the game. Flash forward, fight coming. Spinks not isolated at all. They're just going to lock this one down. Alistair finds something, but Apex is still alive. The cavalry's on its way, and they're toast. Okay, hold up. Well, they're it's, in. It's toast, but there is a bit of butter. Oh! on top, what? That is creamy, cheeky, not another. Alistair has suddenly made a round out of this. Four kills. And there's only one more to find. Dupree close on sight. Inns in support. Greyhound have been given a real gift here. 
from the gifted Aussie. And Dupree perhaps overthinking this. He's heading back to A. He assumes they'll be trying to avoid him. And it's a red carpet run to get that bomb down. In still suspicious, understandably so, but Dupree has burrowed all the way to the other side of the map. And then still not planting. Dupree's rotating back now. He's had time to go towards A, get into Graveyard, decide it won't be that finish and rotate back through CT spawn to address this. This could still fall apart for I, Greyhound. I don't even know who's overthinking more. 30 seconds, and it's just dead silent. Look at all the nades he has as well to disrupt this. Dupree can win this round. So many nades. You want to get that bomb down. A little bit of a hint. A hint in the form of a nade. Dupree heads back to A, and now Greyhound have it right in front of them. <sighs> the pendulum swinging back and forth, but here he comes. This incendiary could be perfectly placed. They've opted to take the fight in unison. You can see from different elevations, they will take the fight as he rounds that corner. Trying to make it as impossible for the Dane to separate these, isolate these one versus one duels. A miracle round out of Alistair. Started with Tech Nines. Can they finish with the rifle? Oh, it's oh. the ace for the Aussie. Point comes back. You can see highlighted here that they have some fantastic defensive positions on that side. They're not playing forward in towards mid, so the trade potential difficult for Greyhound. And well, time's already ticked on down. We still have a minute on the clock and stepping past the line of sight. Shot fires off. That is actually a bucket load of information right now for Insta call with. You can see the call's been made. Yeah, immediate pivot. Alistair's on the move. Apex. Ooh, a bit hectic on the spray. Partnered up with Sphinx as well. So that B defenders have just parked the AWP and focusing their attentions here on this library side. Long flash. Good one from Sphinx. And the second to really secure the round. That extra firepower Sphinx brings, it's apparent. Might have to be the save call here. Still plenty of time on the clock, but have nothing to work with. Last oh. round was a miracle. This one from a different world, as you can see them starting to back on off towards the second mid. Apex gets caught very off guard, but I think he was using himself as bait here. He will secure the fact that they are holding on to these two rifles. And that buy in the previous round meant that Greyhound had a little bit of extra cash to work with. So we, we should see them get into another buy coming forward. But here it is. This is the round starter. And what was essentially the round close up because of the rotations that are freed up over towards this A site. Sphinx and Apex both able to be up and protect the first letter of the alphabet. And that'll be it. Seven to three now. Get up the guts. Yes, yeah, quick smoke. And so Dupree. Likely communicating a gap, Zywood to try and address it. Good one on the spray through the smoke. Zywood getting run on down, but absolutely no sweat on the brow. As, oh, every shot connects just on the corner as well. It'd be great for their confidence if they can pick up a victory here and then take that into tomorrow in the 2-2 matchup. Now, Apex, this would be great for his confidence. Backs are going to be turned. He's and, not a knifey boy. Uh, he's definitely not a knifey boy, but you'll see how many he can get here. He's going to hang around. The round right now is cooked for Greyhound. You are boxed in. Horrible sinking feeling in your stomach as he gets the kill. Oh, oh, Liaz. It's a bit of freedom. Has actually uh, solved the mystery. A blind stab in the dark, a quick dig down. Second mid stops Apex's hijinks. We'll see that one from his perspective. Look at this, cracks his skull with a quick click. Okay, game on. Well, Dupree's still quite forward in mid here. This flash over, Sphinx spams. He doesn't uh? even need to see his target. See you later, Ind. Trying to get back the banana control, not on his watch. Can Liaz do anything more? The answer, a resounding no, Dupree. No hesitation, two kills, two seconds. In this final round of this defensive vitality, half looking set for 11. Has to throw his body of the line here, so the smoke to try and recover this bomb. But tag on through, and there comes the death, 11. Have now found themselves in a whole world of hurt. It's the ideal weapon for the job, sicko. Jewel Barretta's spots out Zaiwu, deletes Zaiwu from the equation. A wide, wild swing with nothing to report, and it all falls flat upon arrival. Apex double dumping Util. Inns wants to try and take one away, but the flash does completely quash any aggression he was considering. Vitality saved in the same scenario on the first pistol. Do we see the CTs give it a go? No way, Jose. Stick. Doesn't need to. Locked in now. Inns might be trapped. He's in the fade. Can't go anywhere but forward. And so he will. Backs turned. Sphinx tapped. Magis exposed and ahead 
deleted. If they can find Apex, it could crumble, and they have Inns high impact now. Has to sit on the, on the defuse, Dupree just has to be at the bay. He needs to hit this shot. Inns, it's a high pressure scenario. Runs him down, and the round goes. So it's the most normie of map pools available in today's Counter-Strike landscape. And hedging their bets are Greyhound with a four-man A lean, but Banana is where we're investigating. Backside. Considering his options, he's got a lot to contend with, and he does want to stay ahead of that smoke grenade. He's already been chipped away. You can see just trying desperately to stop this from happening. Apex, caution to the wind, leaps through the CT smoke, and may very well have just won the round. Yeah, identified quite easily what that type of a setup was right there. The fact that they were just hoping to keep Top Banana redeployed with smokes. Vexite had another one available to his name, and then you can see how desperate he was. Like, no, I, if they get the info that we're not playing site side, they will stroll on in, and Apex taking that big risk, pushing through the smoke, securing exactly that information. So, round done and dusted. Save of these upgraded pistols is the new mission for Greyhound. And well, it's not that a hunt is available, but take a look at the radar in the top left. They are quite close to one another. I mean, you definitely get a sense I will win on that MAC-10, considering his options. Not really attached to this SMG. He's happy to throw it into the mix. And Spinks the same. It looks like, yeah, Vitality, they want to punish the CTs here. They want to take that armor, take that sidearm away. Force those rebuys. Bomb goes in, and so do they. Into a fall out of stuff. Spinks and Magisk just trailing that. Get to see the guns out now for Greyhound. Let's see how much of a wall they can erect. Again, they're hunting him down. Inz has actually just been set up with a nice opener. Zaiwu committing while blind, and yeah, deep banana control established. The CTs with a lot of the map territory. It's it actually a big bit of info right there if Vitality have been watching the demos, which I'm sure they have been. Matt and Zonic, uh, the coaching staff, and well, Apex combined, should be aware that Inz is more of the flex player. They like to start with uh, Vexite and Sicko over towards B. Inz is there to help them set up. He's actually the one who's barreled forward here. So having an idea that it was this three-man B lean, that was quite telling with the utility that came their way, but haven't been able to pounce off the back of it. Attempting now to flush out any rats in the system who are pushed on down towards this lower well, part of Banana. An exchange of flames will hold both at bay for now. There's currently four players over towards A, and I say that Sicko starting to rotate back, but Inns will find another through the boards. Magisk hits the deck, and the final three for Vitality will just have to slink up Banana together. The boost towards CT. There's one more incendiary in play over towards B. There's enough utility right now for Vitality to execute. If they trade efficiently, they can get into the site, they can get the bomb down, and they can set themselves up for a post plan. Carpet bomb onto B. No pressure onto Sicko as of yet. Here comes the push. He actually just gives the fight through. Good dink onto Dupree. Need a finish. Inns maintains his elevated position. Should be good for at least one here. Spinks, though, too fierce. Need Alistair to finish what his team has started. Quick one onto Dupree, and now it's Apex that falls to this orb. Alistair doesn't quite get the round done. Gives Spinks a chance to fill his lungs with a new set of oxygen as three CTs head in his way. This has to be Greyhounds, and Liaz confirms it. And so, yeah, got a bit... Be start. Yeah, Inz is already on his way back through Speedway. Alistair forward on the orb without the support. Liaz up in towards the boiler room. Loud Apex hasn't been heard. They will silently mantle through. So two slicking it, slinking into Liaz's position. Big find. Good trade. Alistair needs it. Can't. It spinks again. So capable of finding that second in the sequence. And they still have so much utility right now to execute on towards A. B is still an option here as well as they just continue. Creep on forward in towards the site. Spinks has so what? much space, more sta space than he could possibly hope for here. The Molly comes forward, he jumps on down. This is his kill every day of the week. He might get all four until Vexite chimes in. And that's going to be it. It's just Sicko who has to save. That was destined to be done as soon as those first two kills come in. I, I wonder if Alistair's barrel got spotted there as well. It, look, if you are going to play in that boiler setup, it's quite telling that there will be a player close hole. So they connected those dots very quickly, did Vitality. And Sicko's gotten here towards the tail end of the apartments quite quickly as well, but we'll have to get past this orb. Yeah, Zai was looking the wrong side, but he never lets that. They have to keep everybody alive and around like this if they want any opportunity to 
uh, to get us to have a conversation over comeback. Another orb strikes. Both of them have filled the feed, done their job, given them the way in. Well, they picked the right, right bomb site here again. Vitality looks like they wanted to head up middle. Only two players here. That's Alistair with his AWP and Liaz with the Famous in hand. Oh, actually, Zywu heading back towards the B bomb site now. A couple of points of logic here. You might want to look for the heads up AWP duel against Vexite or. When you know you're against orbs, it's quite easy to execute over, right? Those smokes we've discussed, that removes a couple of clean sight lines. And they still have three Molotovs available. They could really light this B-bomb side up. Just dry through. Now, they know there was an orb on B. Send Zywu in. Oh, don't even need an orb for your orb. It's Magisk who prevails up against Vexite. A nice tag onto Sphinx, but... Pressure applied to B as well, simultaneously. Sicko just well to post on the MP9. Zywu does escape with the bomb. Spinks trying to continue to find the gaps on this A long side. 25. And the odds just okay. seemingly too stacked against them. Yeah, fair you enough. Need, you only need one. And they are showing respect, right? They're not just going, all right, well, it's Zyro and Sphinx. We can probably win this round, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're going, well, we need one more. Let's just get it done cleanly. That's fine. We can give them six. It's not a close scoreline. Not at all. So there you go. Bit of a gimme here. Greyhound do stay alive for now. Enough to at least delay it. They won't be able to play for info here. His defensive smoke has negated any opportunity to try and play forward, right? They could stay towards Sandbag, but they can be pop flash, they can be mollied, and it gets dangerous. So you can see a bit on their haunches here, Greyhound. And that has freed up space towards A. The Dupree with the bomb is investigating very aggressively. Look how far, far, far forward he is. That's a mouthful. Yeah, it might get a face fall. Oh, no, just shy on the nade. Bexai confirms Top Banana still under their control. Retake smoke. Likely to follow. Liaz. Seems aware of the possibility. Spinks with an extinguish. So, surely ringing the alarm bell now that A is under a lot of scrutiny. Vexite's rotated through. Inns as well, considering it on speedway. And Vitality yet to commit. They have got limited resources, but you've still got Zywu and Dupree with a full belt of utility. Whole squad gathered now. The congregation looking for action. They get it as well. Vexite got nothing done. Gets one before Zywu Zort finds him. Alistair trying to maintain control. One on the balcony. Not expecting this. Does snap into Sphinx. Apex slipped through. Looking for the Orpa now and delivers the headshot. Vitality a single frag away from taking this first map. Sicko peek through. Nice from Zywu. And business.